guys, here's Tatiana. Today I want to share with you what are my favorite bassinets for babies. As some of you know, I have three kids and I have a four months old now. For all of them, I have had this one here, the Arms Reach Co Sleeper. It has been great. I loved having this one. Um, but this time around, I decided to try something different and I got the hollow bassinest, so they call it bassinest, it's swivel, a swivel sleeper. So it has lots of features and um, I love them both for different reasons and I'll tell you why. So let's start with my newer one. The, um, the nice thing about this, I would say one of my favorite things is um, all of the different uh, features it has. So, you know, you get light for nighttime, you get, uh, if you can see the light here on this side, um, it has a little light so you can check on your baby, but uh, different levels too. This mesh is also great so you can uh, keep an eye. I sleep right here so, you know, the bassinet comes over the bed if you want to. If you know, if not, you can push. So it's really nice. The baby feels very close to you. So it's a great uh, uh, and safe way to co-sleep without co-sleeping. Um, it also has um, music and these are the different volumes for the music. And this is a nursing timer and this is a uh, vibrations. It also has a low and a higher setting. My baby does like uh, the vibration and uh, another nice feature is this drop down here. So when you're you know, laying down, I love that you don't have to um, get up to pick up your baby. You, know, you can just grab it in. There you go. <laughs> so uh, it's, been, it's been good. Uh, I did like, uh, you know, if you just need to um, bounce them a little bit to put them back to sleep. And that's another thing you can do. Um, when you need to get up, you don't have to go around, you know, you know, just move it out of, of the way to get up. And it's very solid. This is super heavy. Um, it won't tilt. It won't fall. It's another great feature. It has uh, all, you can adjust. It has all the different levels. You can adjust to the right level for your bed. So that's what I'm using right now. Um, now let's talk about the arms. Uh, the arms reach co sleeper. We just got it out of this bag. The nice thing about this one is that it folds really small, so it's portable. You can take it places versus not portable. That one is very big and heavy and it doesn't fold, so you are not going to be moving that one around. It will be here. Now, this one, it would, it would be nice because you can take places if you're going to have a sleepover or if you're going on vacation, you know, it folds really t small and it fits in that bag. So that's the nice thing about it. Um, I do feel that it's much easier to grab the baby out than on that one, even though, you know, they have this drop-down feature, it's still you know, a little bit uh, of work to get your baby to get your baby out versus here is just a much easier <laughs> process. You know, it's easier to lean over your baby and um, in in this way, I like this one better because it was easier to pick up my baby. It was easier to touch him and um, give him some re reassurance that mama is right there. Um, but the features of uh, vibrating and light and, and night and, and the fact that it moves is also nice. So I honestly cannot tell you which one is better. Like I said, I like them for different reasons. I used this one in the beginning for a while and then I, I started with this and then I went back with this and then I thought I liked this better. So I cannot only honestly say which one I like better because I did like them both. Um, this time we never went anywhere <laughs> with our newborn baby so I kept thinking that it would be nice uh, in case we had to travel but 
you know it's coronavirus season we're we're stuck home we're not going anywhere and now he's almost outgrowing he um it's it's not that big as you can see so we are transitioning at this point to moving the baby to his room to his crib so wish us luck with that because the few nights we tried haven't uh, been easy yet but but yeah i do like them both i think if i had to um to pick one i would just pick this old-fashioned guy for for the reasons I mentioned, it's it's more portable, it's easier to get your baby in and out, and you know, if you just want to move him a little bit like you could, you know, here, of course it doesn't move as much, but you could still do that here. Um, and the light and the other features, I don't think they, they're um, that big of a deal. So let me show you real quick how I fold this. You get this um, mattress out it has a button here as you can see you have to push them to unlock but the lower you have to unlock the lower bars first so let's do that oh it also has wheels so let's just move it on this side where we can have more space it has wheels so you can move it around the house if you want a baby to take a nap you know somewhere else and like I said, that one, you cannot move it around. Fold here, fold here, fold here, and here, and then there's a, there's a button here that says press to unlock, so you're going to put a little bit up and down. tiny bag so it's it's very portable and easy to take it places um, you will fold the mattress here and then this is how you're gonna attach it to your bed if you want to have more security so it doesn't tilt I never really did that but um, I guess it's not it's always it's a good idea to be safe this area down here is um, storage area so it's it's quite spacious you can store a lot of things oh no the zipper is on this side there what oh, I didn't know that completely okay I think it's super adorable um, I love the details on it and here is very spacious you can store so many things uh, it has four pockets two on each side so this two and um, on this side as well yeah I think that's that this is the other feature that you can use to um, put under your mattress to prevent it from falling Oh, this one ha also has the pockets on the sides that I didn't mention earlier. This and this I keep um, some nursing cloth and a few little things. Not not very spacious. So yeah, that's my that's my review on the baby bassinets. So if you're expecting a baby, give them one of them a, a try. Uh, this is definitely newer uh, and with the uh, filled with features this one has been around for the longest time and like I said I've loved it all three times and I recommend it as well so thumbs up to both of them thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet please do so bye